Hey, welcome to Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm Josh Cohen. I'm doing a video on what was another really big uh, sports story over the summer. I didn't do videos over the summer, so I didn't get a chance to talk about it. So I know that I'm really late with this, but uh, this was a really big deal. I wanted to make sure that I got a chance to talk about it um, and let you guys know what I think about the NCAA allowing players to make money off their name and likeness. So this has been a huge conversation since, as long as I can remember, I feel like it's ramped up uh, more recently. Um, but do we pay college athletes? Can co should college athletes get paid? Um, you know, they're they're student athletes. They're supposed to be students first, but we all know that um, that's really a name only. Especially the better you are, then the more important the athlete becomes. Um, so the question is, do they get paid? These schools make tons of money off of these athletes. The athletes can't make a dime until they graduate or until they're done playing their sport because they lose eligibility. They lose all eligibility even if somebody just buys them lunch, right? So do you pay these guys? Uh, coaches are getting rich, universities are getting rich, players are not. Um, so it seems to me, it seems like the most obvious answer and the most common answer is yes, pay these guys. Coaches make millions, the schools make billions. Uh, send, give the athletes their fair share. And I was always on the side of, now maybe hesitantly, but saying, I don't know, I don't think you should pay these athletes because, um, I think the the people making millions of dollars are so few and far between. Uh, and when you talk about you know the Nick Sabans at Alabama's at Alabama that are making all this money, um, there's not a lot of guys like that. Yes, there are a lot of college football coaches making a lot of money, but for every every Nick Saban, there's a you know assistant swimming coach that's. Uh, making very little money and at some small college wherever so I think that notion of like all of these coaches and universities are making so much money these athletes should too um, I think is a little bit trickier than that um, now the NCAA is getting rich and that's a whole other thing I can I can go on for a while in the NCAA um, but I think in this instance they got it right I think uh, giving a salary for to players uh, to student athletes, to college athletes, I think it can get really tricky because, like I said, you got, you know, the quarterback at Alabama or Ohio State, um, and you got, you know, swimming and diving. You got uh, women's lacrosse. You got um, even just the left tackle on that football team, or maybe left tackle, maybe the right guard, um, is not going to make as much money. So then, where do you pay these people, right? Do you, you literally have to go full-on professional and let their their worth on the field and contract negotiations and and bidding with other schools and it gets complicated and messy and um we're already losing a lot of the the pride in college football and it uh, being a uh, college basketball and sports to admit being about the money and um playing just for the love of the game right that's why people that love college over professional that's why they love it but i think that uh these student athletes do deserve to make some money uh, and i think this making money off your name and likeness is the way to go um because then it then it um it really is your name it's your likeness you make money and if you're uh, a big name quarterback at a big name school you're going to make more money um than a small um, a smaller school a smaller sport non-revenue sport uh you're not going to make as much money your sport doesn't make them as much money. Um, so it's more like real life. Um, so I think this is the way to do it. I personally, um, and, I, and I think it's good. I'm happy for, for the athletes that get to make this money. I think the bigger issue is um, a lot of these athletes that don't value their education. And I know that sounds, um, I don't know, very, you know, kids these days don't understand. Um, and trying, and I'm not even trying to push you to college because if, if you know me, if you had a conversation with me, I know college isn't for everyone, but I think um, the value of this education is they're making a lot of money. Um, they do make a, a good amount of money. Some of these schools are very expensive. I, um, you know, actually just finished paying off my student loans from college um, literally just this month. And I, because I, if I was an athlete, I, that would have been paid for. I would have had a free education and would have put me um, in a better position to succeed later on in life. That's what college is for, right? To put you, you take a little bit of a hit, right? Whether it's a student loan or just, um, you know, if you ha are fortunate enough to be able to pay for it, um, out of pocket, you invest into these, you know, four years or whatever your college looks like, um, to pay off down the road. Um, so that's what these college athletes are doing. 
they're investing, they're spending the money and the time and the energy to invest in their future. Um, whether that be as a professional athlete, which most of them won't, like I feel like it's like 99% of them won't, um, especially when you consider other sports than basketball and football. But um, they are investing in their future and they're in a better position if they're able to earn a scholarship uh, and actually make something, earn that degree, um, or even just get some classes that will help them later on in life. The example I love to use is Christian Ponder, right? Former Vikings quarterback. Um, I, I don't know if he knew, maybe he knew that he wasn't going to make it in the NFL. Um, really nice guy, but just didn't have what it took to be a quarterback in the NFL. Few don't, few, few actually do have what it takes to, to play at that level. Um, he actually, cause he redshirted one year, uh, he did his undergraduate in three years and did his master's in two years. So he was able to graduate with a master's uh, for free because he valued his education. And I think that's so important um, that there is plenty to gain, right? If your school, if your tuition is, I don't even know what it is right now for school, um, but let's say it's $25,000 um, a year for school, you're making $25,000 a year. Do you know how many college students make $25,000 a year? Almost none. Um, it's very few and far between to make that kind of money when you're in college. So I, I don't feel that bad for them, especially because the people that we're supposed to feel bad for are the high-end players who should have sold a bunch of jerseys in college. Well, if they get to the NFL, they'll sell a bunch of jerseys then. Uh, even, if, even if they don't, um, you can go pretty far on, on your success in college. Look at like a Tim Tebow. Um, your name, what you did in college can carry you to success past college as well so i do think the ncaa got this right i think allowing players to make money off their likeness is only fair um and and some people are going to make a lot more money some are not some are going to learn hard lessons um but i guess i guess that's what happens you can't you can't protect them um i i feel bad there are going to be kids who are gonna uh, get taken advantage of i'm sure uh, and that's too bad but i think this is i think it's the fair way to do it i think it's only fair that they can make money off their own name right and their own likeness and if they're in a commercial um they should be able to make money for it if if their name is on a jersey they should be able to sell that jersey and make money so um i, I think this does give an even more unfair advantage to the bigger schools um like the alabamas or the ohio states um because they're they're um team is just more popular makes up more popularity in their market um, a team like minnesota is probably not going to earn you know they're going to have a hard time recruiting an even harder time recruiting these big name players um because they're obviously they already want to go to alabama and ohio state for the legacy and for the tradition um, but now they can also make more money there because a team like the gophers is at best the third or fourth biggest team in town and that's if everybody else was terrible and they were just you know having an undefeated season um i think vikings are still a bigger name than them and uh, more cheered on but then when you add in twins wild timberwolves um even the Lynx, maybe uh gophers basketball um it's just not they're not as big of a of a deal so they're not going to have as many opportunities to make money as like in alabama when you go to alabama you are um, the biggest thing ever. So schools like Alabama are going to be able to attract um, even better players than they did before. And the margin is going to get wider. But I do think that's fair. Equal is not always fair. Um, fair is not always equal. So this is not equal. It will widen the gap, the talent gap, I think, from the bigger schools and the, the more traditional schools. Um, but I think that's fair. So I'm not mad at the NCAA for this one. Um, I think they made the right call. So I wanna know what you guys think though. Do you think they made the right call? Um, should they get paid even more, college athletes? Should they not even get this money for their name and likeness? I wanna know what you think in the comments below. Let me know, like this video, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, and I'll see you next time.